Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today is the day which I was waiting for so so long. Today I'm gonna be polishing and cutting Baltic Ember with the spider inside. I'm really really excited, you can't even imagine how much. But the last time I polished anything it was like so long ago and I feel like I maybe got a little bit rusty. We will be, you know, we have to be really careful proceeding. So I won't be rushing this piece. I will be taking it slowly, making sure the spider is fine inside, so we you know, don't damage it. And let's see how it goes. So I guess let's start actually from finding the actual piece. I remember the shape, but I don't remember where is it exactly. <laughs> this is our piece. A little bit bad. Yeah, it, it's here. At the very bottom. So let's go ahead and shape it. That's what we need. So as always, I will start by inspecting the piece. The spider looks like to be on the very bottom. So I'm like free to go and smoothen the surface out. I will do this at all of this. I will use my Dremel. I will remove all the bumps and leave the surface smooth. And then we will proceed to pre-polish. Uh, before I go with the bottom, we have to be extra careful with the bottom because the spider is on the very bottom. So yeah, let's go. This feels so weird because I haven't done this for quite long. I'm not afraid to remove the uh, top because, you know, the spider is on the bottom. So yeah, right now it's like uh, one week have passed since I came back from uh, Poland where I was ember hunting and uh, I, right now I am in isolation for two weeks by the government because I was in the country that's a lot of cases of COVID, you know, and I have to isolate myself for two weeks. I can't say it's really tough, <laughs> you know, because uh, I am like uh, sitting home quite often but I can't do my basic activities that I'm used to, like going out sometimes, not often. And <laughs> right now I'm extra careful because uh, I can't go out at all. So basically when it's like at night, I'm trying to take my trash and, you know, throw them away uh, outside. So I have to leave sometimes to throw, it, throw away trash and then doing that at night <laughs> because I can't leave my home. That's crazy. It's time to see how our spider is doing. I smoothen the front. I will be you now proceeding to smoothen the back, but I want to see exactly where it is. Yeah, since it's not polished, it's like quite opaque. I have to use my flashlight. So there's something happened uh, when I was going back from Poland to my country. Like imagine, uh, 
to the Poland, uh, it took me like seven hours to get to the Poland. <coughs> but uh, I was coming back from Poland to my house, not seven hours, but nine. So how the, did this happen? And so, my GPS, you uh, know, decided to uh, pick another route than I was going to that place. And of course I didn't check where the GPS, what route did he chose. So somehow, I ended up in almost Kaliningrad. <laughs> and I can't enter Kaliningrad because it's not Europe, it's Russia, basically. So the border, they're like asking me, where are you going? I'm like, home, to Lithuania. But here's Russia, you know? I was like, what? <laughs> and yeah, that like ate me like two more hours uh, of time just to get there and from Kaliningrad to Lithuania, from the Poland side. And that's how I ended up riding uh, nine hours home. And this is after all the ember hunting, so I was already like tired and not enough sleep and everything and lost 9 hours of ride. So yeah, but it'll go again. Not sure if it's to Poland this year, but to the Fenian shores to, to ember hunt for sure and hopefully maybe for some fossil hunting. We are proceeding with removing the bottom very slowly and very carefully. Checking for the spider every time, so it's in the middle, so I can, you know, be a little bit more relaxed when I'm removing the sides. We won't need this. So what is pre-polish? If you haven't seen any of my previous videos, I will be using sandpaper with a grid of 600 and we will be you know, doing <laughs> round motions uh, with the, the sandpaper on the ember to make it smoother and remove some more imperfections so from all the sides the piece is quite small so it won't be really it so it won't be really comfortable to do it but I have to do it and after a 600 grid, I will use 1500 grid, then 2000 grid, and then we will proceed to polish the piece. Because it is not the most exciting thing to watch, I will do the pre polish off screen and show you the results before polishing. We did it, guys. Uh, I finished the pre polishing it. Still looks a little bit matte, you know. But if we, if, we, if we will get it wet... It will get this glassy look. That's what pre-polish is. And now we are going to polish it with our compound of polishing paste. And then it will stay like glass permanently. Yeah, it looks pretty transparent, I like it. Let's go! Let's get it, you know, not wet and apply the compound. So on top of uh, polishing compound we will also use scratch remover and do it the uh, same thing. We'll apply it on top and use the Dremel to, you know, make it stick to it. That's when it gets slippery. <laughs> but we're almost done. That's nice. 
I will soon show you my spider. So as a gift I received this small little weighting device and let's see how much our piece weighting after polishing. So it's free with the half grams. Free with the half. And I will now proceed to showing you the piece. Quick glimpse. Crystal crystal clear. I'm having problem pronouncing this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show you my spider close up. This kind of works, no? Very nice spider, guys. I will try to get you close up of the spider. I'm trying to figure out how close can I get it before it stops focusing. <laughs> So what do you think guys? Do you like it? I love it. It's my first spider. I basically was crying for a spider from the very start of my adventure with Ember. This is my first spider since. I didn't destroy it. It's complete inside. Nice details. Pretty nice position if you ask me. Lovely. Yeah, this is our piece. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it and if you like the video consider subscribing. I will be putting more content like this and the next video will be part two of my adventure in Poland while I was ember hunting. Yeah guys, bye!